that sometimes prayer can actually hurt. And I know that's something that might seem counterintuitive for some people. In 1872, Francis Galton, he wanted to study the royalty and see whether or not the amount of prayers that went towards the royal family were actually effective. He figured because the all of the churches in that area, they, every Sunday they did a prayer towards the longevity and the health of the royal family, uh, if prayer had any type of effect, then the royal family should live longer and healthier than most people in their class that they compared them to. So they, they compared them to other high members of society, and he found that the average lifespan of the royal family is actually lower than the average lifespan of other people in that same class group. If the royal family gets all these prayers to live longer, healthier lives every Sunday at their church, and they don't actually end up living longer, then what's the deal here? And since then, more studies have been done, more controlled experiments have been done. And there was actually one study done called the STEP Project in 2006. And they studied 1,802 different people. They separated these people into three different groups. They were all having the, the same procedure done. The first group knew that they were gonna have people praying for them. So they got, they got together a group of people, they were all, highly religious people that were fairly confident in this. And they had these people perform intercessory prayers on the first group. And that group of, of patients, they knew that they were being prayed for. And then they had the second group that nobody prayed for. And then they had the third group that people prayed for and the people didn't know that they were being prayed for. So the first group, they were, they were being prayed for and they knew about it. The next group wasn't being prayed for and then the last group was being prayed for and they knew about it. What's interesting is that the group who knew that they were being prayed for actually performed worse than the other two groups. And they think this is due to some sort of social anxiety or uh, you know, expectations and stuff, and maybe they felt like they weren't going to be able to live up to the expectations, whatever. They, they think it has something to do with some of the psychological stress about knowing that people were praying for you. And between the group that was being prayed for and didn't know about it, and the group that wasn't being prayed for, there was no difference. 